Oh yeah, that's yeah, that seems key. Oh. <laughs> yeah, like it shows like the sound thing, so it's the noise. Yeah, so it makes it easier to sync up stuff. So when I'm ever I'm doing like my ten dot com like fucking like the egg shit, makes it easier. So, <laughs> cause like, then I can sync it up. Cause if I go woo or something, then I can just like move it back. Cause see the sound like yeah. So, oh yeah, this is it. <laughs> we're so welcome to the interview, Tom. Yes, cameraman Carl is at the nice back. It's nice to meet you. Yeah. Uh, some fan gave me this card on the way over. Oh. And I know he said the other two for your birthday. I don't know, some fan gave it. <laughs> so so if, you wanna, if you wanna open it, open it. To my hero. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know oh. some, some kid on the street just was like. Yeah, this is getting uploaded on my birthday, by the way. So this is two days before my birthday when I'm recording this. Because Carl's kind of busy. But... Oh, God. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Have a wonderful birthday. Thank you. Oh Jesus! <laughs> You're kidding me, bro. <laughs> look, at look at that! <laughs> the fuck? Tender Tom, me. This is a pic I drew of us. <laughs> Dear Tender Tom, I'm your biggest fan. I hope that one day you two will get. I will get to play Fortnite with you. Uh, you inspired me to try new things in my life, so I've been editing my own cum for the. I've been eating. Oh, fuck's <laughs> I've been eating my own cum for the past five months now. My life has never been better. <laughs> I hope this letter reaches you soon, <laughs> as I only have three weeks to live. <laughs> Fab, what was it? What did you have to do that? <laughs> Why am I laughing? Is that three weeks to live? Sorry, <laughs> sorry. I love you, my tender boy. Thank you. He didn't, he didn't leave his name. So it's just some random fan, bro. I don't know. Some random fan, I guess. But just like this is what I'll cherish. If you can see that. <laughs> <laughs> so lucky. Okay, yeah. This is um, this is completely uncut. I'm not I'm not editing this whatsoever because like everyone always complains that whatever. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Bet. Ask your questions. I'll answer honestly. Right, so easy, go for it. Easy one to start off, right? All right. Go so for how it. are you feeling at the moment? Like, I'm feeling energy wise, like going back to school and all. Is that down or are you still feeling positive? I feel alright about going back to school. Uh, yeah. It's it, it's crazy because like when I was in fifth year, well like when I was like summer for fifth year, when I left school I had like four hundred subscribers, and when yeah. I came back I had one thousand two hundred, and I was like, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> and I just hit one thousand two. I just hit one hundred thousand views on my channel altogether recently. And that's fucking insane. So, yeah, I, yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm cloud nine. That's lit. Yeah, yeah. So like. What major want to start YouTube or like who major? Like, I had the right equipment. Like it was at the time. I've been thinking about this for a while because like, I, I just thought about this. Like I had, I had the right equipment. So I could just, I just got this PC, and then uh, you told me, cameraman can you told me about the editing software, DaVinci Resolve fifteen, and I didn't know what editing software. I didn't know which one to use. So you told me about that. You helped me edit my, uh, my music video with that, and I appreciate that. That was pretty cool. So you told me about that. I started using it, and then I made my first video. Two days after I got my PC, I got my PC on November 1st, and then on November 3rd, I made the video. I made the video, yeah, my first proper YouTube video. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so from there, I just went on, and yeah. And then also, like, who inspired me? Uh, I've been watching YouTube for a time, you know, so like, I don't know. Like, a lot of people inspired me. Well, like, I always say this name, Emma Chamberlain. All that, yeah. that, all doesn't go with that. <laughs> yeah, like, editing-wise, like, she's been a huge inspiration editing-wise, just like that high pace, fast editing. She doesn't edit her own videos anymore though, so I'm depressed, but just, it's all good though. She still inspired me heavy, so. Yeah, yeah. Like, a lot yeah, of people inspired me. So yeah, editing's cool. actually came a long way since you first started. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, do you enjoy editing or do you think it's a bit of an effort? To I enjoy editing, yeah. yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's what makes it fun, because like, uh, I just record like a normal video, and then like, we're editing, like Ryan Trahan, if you're asking, another person who inspired me, he showed yeah. that like, just editing videos can just make the video so much better. So like, uh, just a little edit that he done like uh it's just mad to see how much you could change yourself like wait, what was the question again <laughs> well like are you are you proud of it how far you're editing yeah 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 oh uh, yeah because like i look video. back yeah. at, like the first videos that i edited and then like i'll see these little mistakes that like nobody really sees like as in like i won't put the clips like close enough together so it'll be like a little quick black flash because i didn't put them close enough together yeah or like a little, i'll be constantly relying on one editing thing like i used to use dynamic zoom all the time because i don't need to use that anymore yeah. and yeah i'm seeing some improvements and yeah it's That's just good, yeah. It's, it's pretty lit and <laughs> you have like a main goal from youtube then like uh, main goal like, just just to make it a full-time job because like it's a lot of fun to do yeah. and it's just something that like I've been watching YouTube for so long, so the fact that I started making videos and people actually fuck with them, 
that's cool. So I want to make it like a full time thing. So like I don't have to get a nine to five job. I can just rely on this. Yeah, so I'm making small moves. This. So when you start getting paid from it, like what's your first? Where are you gonna spend your first paycheck on? Have to invest back into it because there's still a bunch of stuff I need. Like hold on, there's the keyboard right here. This ain't even mechanical. This is just your normal ass keyboard. He bought it for me as well. Like he helped me out. Kyle helped me out so much. So. Like, yeah, when I get my first paycheck, I need to invest it back into the channel. I can't go out buying myself anything crazy yet. But still, yeah, I need to get, like, a 140 hertz monitor. There's still a lot of stuff I need, which is, like... And also, like, I need, like, a lav mic as well, because, like, the microphone quality oh, yeah. on this is quite bad. So I just invest it back to the channel, yeah. So it's you like, invest it until you have everything you need. Yeah, which is, like, when I make the big books, though, like... Yeah, 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 when, yeah you right. have everything you need when you're solid. What's the first thing you're going to buy for yourself? Every year for myself? Yeah. Drip, bro, get the Drip. <laughs> Drip, bro, I'm get the Valenciagas, all that. And then obviously, just like, just take care of the people around me. Like, you know, that, like, obviously, you've helped me a lot, and yeah. you've always just helped me a lot, gave me a lot of shit. So, of course, I have to take care of you. I'd go kind of be a dickhead if I didn't. So, just have to That's repay good, you and everybody else, and Ryan and everybody, the whole crew, then. Just, yeah, yeah, so. <laughs> so, like. On like money wise, do you think your parents think it's a good idea to do YouTube? Or what do, do you think of it? What, what, what do your what parents think of you doing YouTube? Like? What do they think about me doing YouTube? Yeah. Uh, at the did start, at the start, they were like confused. Like my dad, like I remember on like the vlog. If you watch the uh, thing, the Curry's PC World vlog when I was recording myself, like after I finished Hoovering and I went downstairs, my dad was like, "Why the fuck am I recording myself?" He didn't understand at the time, but he understands now. So it's all good. But he didn't understand at the time. And like yeah, he understands it more now. Like when I hit one, when I hit one thousand views, one hundred thousand views, I send him like a message. I send everybody like a message in our family group chat, and he was just like, like that's really really good. Like more grease to your elbow, you know the black phrases, whatever. And yeah, so that was pretty cool. And then my mom, she subscribed to my channel. She watches oh. them sometimes. Like we'll have conversations about my videos. Like she talked to you about my long tooth video. I thought she would ask questions about the girl that I met, but she didn't ask any questions about that. Uh, <laughs> she, she didn't knows, really care. She probably knows. Like. <laughs> yeah, she didn't care about that. I thought she'd ask me very questions, but she didn't. Yeah, but just she watches the videos though, and she told me that she watched the meal one and shit and the school one. No, not the school one, not the meal one. So it's good. Yeah. yeah. Right. So, um, <laughs> like since you're back in school, yes. Do you think it's gonna be hard to balance school work and videos at the same time? Yeah. Somebody else asked me this as well. Shout out, uh, Papa Coward. Always watch. Always uh, fucking commenting on the videos i appreciate it uh like yeah it is going to be hard but just like i still want to keep doing it. i still want to try to stay consistent as i can like leaving sir obviously is serious but just like also like at the same time if it doesn't go too well post that up on youtube post that video up on youtube <laughs> open up leaving sir results bang some well, yeah, yeah, well. <laughs> um, yeah. uh, <laughs> well, i'm gonna try my best to do it. i'm gonna try my best to leave sir but of yeah, course yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that like I still want to keep making. I still want to keep the schedule. This like I don't want to like disappear for like two months or like even yeah. like two weeks and like not make a video. Like are you mad? That like, seems it to happen like, a lot of people. Though. Yeah, man. Like I don't want that to happen. Like I don't want to like yeah. I want to keep posting regularly because it's still a lot of fun to do. I as long as you can find that balance, I think. You can yes, do. sir. Even you get to. Yeah. So like, do you have any plans for after school? After school. Well, or, like when you finish. The plan is that I hope that this takes. I hope that hopefully. That I'm like it's not all about money, but just like since like yeah, I'd hope that I'm in a position where I can do this full time. I don't really have to worry about getting another job. And then college, honestly, I really like keeping it one hundred. I don't fucking know about college. I don't really know if I want to go. Like my parents are like very uh, serious when it comes to school. They're like, my dad wants me to go to UCD because everybody else went to like uh, like a community college. He wants me to go to like one of the best colleges here, but just like. Honestly, like I'd much like if I, if this takes off, I'd much rather chase this than go to college. I know that sounds quite stupid, but just like if you are if you're passionate about something, which I am, you, you just have to go for it, one hundred percent. So after school, my hopes would be that YouTube goes crazy, and yeah, I'm able to take care of myself and whoever's around me, and and then I can just leave college on the back burner. Maybe take a gap year, to be honest. So take a gap year. Yeah. And then see how this YouTube thing goes. If it doesn't go that well, go into college, maybe do computer science. But just like, I'd hope that this YouTube thing takes off. I just want to chase that. So. But in college, you can do like media courses. <laughs> you can as well, but just like, <coughs> I don't give a fuck about that. Like, I just want to focus on I know, on but even if, even if your YouTube did take off, you could yeah. do that on the side to learn even a bit more about like the business side of it, kind of maybe. Yeah, yeah. Like, there are like, I know, I get what you mean though. Like, there are like YouTubers like Chloe Hudson, like, she has like 300k. I think yeah. she's about to have 400k. She goes to college as well, and like, she has like, she's, she's doing well on YouTube too, but just like, yeah. I don't know. Like, we'll see when we get there, but just like, most likely, to be honest, I'd much rather just go all in. All in with Plan A, all in with YouTube, bro. Yeah. Mm. So, one way of doing that, that I know that you like talking about, 
but the law of attraction yeah but so oh yeah what, what's, thank your, god views, you what's your views what's your views on the law of attraction thank god you brought this oh bro that me up for now that me up for now that me up for now hell yes the law of attraction I've always been about that Conor McGregor I remember even though he punched the no man recently so this is probably the best example like just oh I don't know he kind of brought the law of attraction to my attention because he was in an interview and then like he was talking about the law of attraction and how if you speak things into existence and if you and if you're not afraid to say what you want and you actually go for it and you chase it and you believe in it and you vision it like it can actually happen and I feel like I believe in the law of attraction honestly yeah. like just like things like this PC didn't even seem possible to get I was supposed to get a college computer a computer for college because like this cost 1800 like what what type of parents are supposed to be paying for that but just like they, I was, there was money in the savings account and then like that was supposed to go only to a laptop certainly to a laptop so it felt impossible to get this PC but just I think just because like I was so passionate about it I was thinking about it I knew that if I got this PC it'd be pretty lit that like I just thought about it and then like I want to say law of attraction but at the same time parents are just helped as well but I really do believe in the law of attraction I'm huge fuck with that heavy I really do so I'm happy Calvin has that I'm getting excited thinking about it yeah <laughs> I always think about the law so of attraction would you say you use that as your motivation point yeah because uh, yeah as their motivation like, what do you mean like what would you use for your motivation would that be the law of attraction so like motivation yeah. for like YouTube to like, yeah. keep going to keep going at it motivation just like, I just enjoy it and then like it's crazy because like other people enjoy watching it as well because like I'll get these DMs from people reaching out on Instagram saying that they fuck with it and like if they like it and if I like it then that's the motivation to keep going like the thing is if you're passionate about something you shouldn't have to search for motivation. Like you should just be motivated to do it all the time. You shouldn't have to be, oh, let me try for motivation here or here. Like if you're really passionate about it and if you're thinking about it, because I watch YouTube every day, then you shouldn't have to. Like motivation shouldn't be a worry. Yeah, so yeah. I'm not worried about motivation because like I'm enjoying making videos and people fuck with them too. So yeah, yeah I'm not really worried too worried about that. So like, you like working hard on your videos and stuff. Yeah. But is there any distractions that come to your life? Like any girls or something like, like games <laughs> like playing. Uh, the best thing about uh, distractions well before I used to be distracted not really because like I can make videos about all these things that's the best thing like when yeah. I had problems with the girl uh, yeah happy mother's day I made a video about that like any distractions that come in I could make a video about it so really if I wanted to I could make a video about studying and shit but just like I don't really know if I would but just like any distractions that I have I could like link them back in with YouTube so there's, there hasn't been any distractions like I've been procrastinating homework but that's pro that's not I don't even count that as a distraction yet I'm only like three days into so six. every distraction you could just yeah I could just bring it back into yeah. the channel yeah bring that into videos yeah like whatever distraction turns me in that's a good way of thinking so you're always on your toes kind of yes sir right, so one thing I wanted to ask you though yeah go for Joe, it Joe um, not really like the squad that you've done the meet up and all with yeah yeah how did you yeah, get yeah. involved with all them like they have a lot of viewers now combined together yeah, so yeah. what made them reach out to you I know some people are curious about this as well so I've talked about it uh, Keen Gannon mentioned his name a lot as well yeah uh, he saw my preparing for a long two video somehow I don't know he found it and then he said that he fucked with it and then I, I don't know just by the name just by the uh, picture I was like this guy has to be a YouTuber I just had a feeling I clicked on it so he had 9,000 subscribers I was like holy shit this guy just saw my video so I was like thanks bro holy shit I can't believe he saw the video he followed me on Instagram as well I was like yo why why is this guy <laughs> so I DM'd him and I was like thanks for following me and shit we stayed in contact and then he showed the uh, preparing to, for a long two video to his mates as well because I think Darata commented on it and he has like 20,000, 23,000 subscribers, I think, actually. He commented on it. And then uh, I made the Longitude video. And then Cal Arnold saw that, which is insane to me. He has 40,000. I've been a huge fan of him since, like, last year, November 2018. So I was like, yo, that's crazy. So Keen, Keen Gannon is, like, responsible for all this. So if Keen didn't put me on, I wouldn't have met up with those lads at the meal. And, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't have been. He's sound dude. He really is. He, he put me on. So, honestly, yeah, big, big shout out to Keen Gannon. So they have, like... Hundreds and hundreds of subscribers, hundreds of thousands, sorry, of subscribers yes, sir, yeah, all together, yeah. But your channel is on a hundred thousand views, isn't it? Yeah, just here. Yeah, yeah, so is that hard to comprehend? Like a hundred thousand people have seen you every day. It is hard to comprehend. It's mainly due to the ten k catch rate of the wall video, but just like. But still, that's people watching your. Yeah, channel. but just like it's mad because like when I made that video, like. Uh, I just it just came to my head. I was sitting down. I was just thinking about. It. I was like, Yo, this guy didn't make the wall. I just made this video, and then like um, like uh, like Ryan didn't really fuck with it. Like the most of the crew, like well, like Kevin and Ryan didn't really fuck with it. I'm like, this video's irrelevant. I don't see the point of you making it. And then it blew the fuck up. So it's my biggest video. So I just yeah, I just oh, I don't know, just the fact that hundred thousand people saw it. my Jay Swing Life video is coming back into relevance. That has four K views now. Yeah. It got three K views in the last month. Oh, it's insane. I just uh, <laughs> I can't come. Jerry, try and visualize hundred thousand views. No. Do you want to 
see what 100,000 people look like. I have a picture there as well. 100,000 people. And obviously it's blurry because it's yeah. a shit load of people. It's a, it's a lot of fucking. I don't know if you can see that. How's that Barack Obama's? Oh, yeah. This, you can, oh, I don't give a shit if you can see that. That's, that's mad. Uh-huh. That oh, many man. people have known the name Kendall Clark. Uh, it's, it's mad. When it's... you think about it like that. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> I'm great. It's insane. And so, like, if I'm already seeing, if I'm already hitting 100,000, it didn't even feel possible. And 1,000 subscribers didn't even feel possible. I want to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I hit it in August. I was like, holy shit, this is fucking insane. So I'm grateful. This is like, thank you all. This is this is sick. I'm happy. Yeah. So that that was your goal for the end of the year. 1, yeah. 000, oh, yeah. sorry. 1, yeah, 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 yeah. One thousand subscribers. Yeah, I guess. Since you already hit that, do you have any new goals for the end of the year? No. I don't. They just keep going. Cause yeah. like I don't know. Cause like I don't want to. I don't want to keep on doing like uh like one thousand one point one k shout one point one point two k shout one point three like the shout out on my channel a lot because like people be like oh I'm in this video sure but just like I don't really have just keep going and then I I probably if I if I want to set a goal since everybody else seems to care about the money more than I do asking about when do I get paid maybe maybe just get my channel reviewed and get monetized and then I could probably show that to my man and dad y'all to be like yo I like doing this YouTube thing. I just got monetized, could pay. I'm not gonna make a lot of money at the start, obviously, but just like, yeah, it'd be, it'd be a sign, yeah. A sign or something. So that's probably that's the goal, get yeah, monetized, yeah. yeah. I'm close to it as well, so. That's yeah, cool. so I'll keep watching the vids. Yeah, I should, I should probably actually explain, because a lot of people are gonna ask, how do you get paid? Because yeah, I've been asking, I've been getting, yeah, ask, yeah. I've been getting this skill, yeah. So, uh, 1,000, I, oh, I can, can I pop that up? Oh, fuck, it doesn't matter. 1,000 subscribers, that's one, of the, that's one of the things you need. I hate that. That Thank you, guys. And then one of the things I need is 4,000 watch hours all together on my videos. So I have, like, I checked yesterday. I have, like, 3.2K watch time, 3.3K watch hours, whatever. So I need 4,000. So I'm pretty sure I'd say by, like, October, maybe even November, I'll get my channel reviewed and then I'll be monetized. And that's pretty fucking sick. So the threshold is 1,000 subscribers, 4,000 hours of watch time. Hit the subscribers really close to the watch time so if that doesn't make sense look it up I don't know today but hopefully that'll be a good Christmas present <laughs> that would be lit <laughs> you get one of that would be cool okay, so in the future yes. if you do make a big off future yes. do you think you'd stay in Ireland in Ireland oh fuck because I've, I've seen some Irish that have gone over to America to live does yeah, like, you ever do that or would you just want to stay here that's a good question like if it does go out like I want to make sure that my parents have like a good house here or whatever and they make sure that they take care of here but there's a lot more opportunities in, Lo- in Los Angeles, but just whenever you try to go over to Los Angeles, they're like, oh, you're selling out. Oh, you're making big books. How come you're not staying there? You forgot your roots, banana. There's just so much more opportunities over in places like Los Angeles and YouTube. Like, YouTube's more of a, it's even more common there. Like, if someone has a camera, like, they'll probably just assume automatically they're a YouTube restaurant. Right? It's like, I feel like in Ireland, there's still a bit of confusion over it. But Los Angeles, like, it's just so big. So many YouTubers in Los Angeles. David Dobrik, Emma Chandler, all the big boys, all the big girls are in the, are in YouTube, are in thing. LA so I might have to go to LA for opportunities <laughs> yeah so oh yeah that, that would probably be I don't think I'd stay but just like maybe I don't know most likely not because there's so many more opportunities outside even over to England would you know in in, yeah there's a lot of opportunities in England as well there's like a YouTube space like YouTube space it, London it's more like, common over there like you don't really see people vlogging around here that yeah way. yeah so like yeah I'd say I'd ever move to like maybe like London has a lot of opportunities but maybe Los Angeles I'd say that would probably be the place yeah, yeah. so I wouldn't forget about Ireland though obviously yeah. that's cool good man Right, so you mentioned this earlier on. Do you think you act different on camera? <laughs> oh, do I think I act different on camera? Well, like the thing is, like I, I still feel like I'm just like I feel like the editing could definitely give you like a perception that like I'm super hyper all the time. Like I am a hyper guy. I do stutter a lot. I do. I'm shy content. I just I stutter a lot. <laughs> yeah, that's still in the videos, but I don't feel like I'm different off camera. I don't know, cause like I don't know. I still feel like. When I'm looking into the camera, I just want to talk to it as if like it's like a friend, you know, as yeah. many things. So, like I wouldn't say that I'm different because I still got that same energy, got that same flow. I'd probably say that the editing makes it look like I'm way hyper than I actually am, but I'm hyper. But as I said, like the videos make it look like I'm super hyper. So, so All right, I still I still like to say I'm the same, but just like that's like it's it's opinion. But I like to say that I am still that same yeah, hyper yeah, yeah. guy. <laughs> that's good. That's the stage genuine in my corner. Oh, this things are the times are yeah, it's all good. Uh, I'll, I'll just fucking yeah because like the, the threshold's like 19 minutes so I'll turn it back on well, I only have like two more questions anyway. oh I've already turned off fuck's sakes just oh just stop it. it's all good yeah I had the, the timer was running out 20 seconds don't worry just yeah, this shit yeah, nothing happened right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> alright go for it alright so since I know you're obviously not huge YouTuber at the moment but obviously you made that fucking 
jump up to 1,000 or whatever you're on. Yeah. Would you have any advice to anyone? Like, yeah, oh, that's good. Oh, that's lit. Uh, yeah, uh, someone asked me this as well. Uh, fun. I think it's very important that you actually have to have fun doing it because I'm constantly smiling in my videos, having like the best time smiling. Yeah. So, like, because I enjoy doing it. And then that's, that's probably the reason why people might think that like, I'm doing it because I seem way more happier. It's like I'm enjoying looking at the camera, and talk, especially when like it's an actual camera as well and not just like my iPhone camera. It's pretty cool. But just like the advice I'd give to anybody else who wants to do YouTube, just have fun doing it because I feel like David Dobrik said it best. He said this quote, like if you have fun doing it and if you're genuinely enjoying what you're doing, people will have fun watching it. So I think that's the best way to put it. So if you're having a great time, if you're actually enjoying what you're doing and you're not putting on a persona, it's just you having a good time. I feel like other people will see, they'll feel that energy and they'll fuck with you. So I feel like just have fun and then, yeah, other people will watch you <laughs> if but you like have fun. A lot of people, when they're kind of starting, yeah. I don't know, they kind of maybe feel fear that they might get slagged or something. Did you think, did you get slagged much when you started? I get slagged. Like, uh, I was, exp I thought, I like, I thought it would have been worse than it was because like the first video I uploaded on my channel was a song called I Ain't and then I put that up. And then people in my school are just singing it. Like, they're coming to me, they're like, messing, like, oh, you're going to ho, so you're going to do it. Like, saying the lyrics, but just like, I never really got slayed out of it for making videos. And then when I made the Chippy Chippy video, they, people saw that in school as well. They laughed at it. They didn't, like, I didn't get slagged. Nobody was like, oh, your video's absolutely fucking garbage. And like, I, didn't, I honestly expected it to be worse, but yeah, it really so. wasn't. But just like, I'm great. I'm happy about that as well, because like, I didn't get that much backlash. Even when I made the cum video, in school, people just asked me if it was real or not. Like, they didn't believe me, but yeah. just like I didn't get a like, proper like say. It probably happened like behind closed doors, like behind, but just like yeah, but nobody cares? directly came up to me and said like, "Yo, your fucking videos are fucking shit and shit." Like it was all good, so, so I'm happy about that. If someone did have that fear, would you say like, "Oh, it's not as bad as you think it's gonna be"? It's really not as bad, especially if you enjoy doing it. Like if you're having a great time doing it, like all these other people chant shit shouldn't really matter because yeah. like when you blow up that's when they're going to be sucking your dick being like yo fam remember bro i was only messing when i made fun of yeah. your videos like oh uh, yeah, now, now you're up now like i'm pretty proud of you bro so, <laughs> yeah but just like <laughs> exactly. it's all good so don't worry about it just yeah. just do it like, right, good man that's kind of all the questions i have but yeah, I'll, yeah. just one little question oh no i've seen this on the radio station that they always ask like celebrities now all right but do you have a favorite curse word and if you do why is it your favorite I don't have a favorite curse word. I, I do curse a lot. And then, like, my sister, I was on the phone to my sister recently. She was like, You're cursing me your videos a lot. I was like, Oh, that's just me. And I don't want to like, censor myself. But just like, my favorite curse word. Oh, which one has. I feel like fuck. Oh, fuck, just, is, a, fuck is a nice one. Just if you're feeling angry, yeah, like, if you're excited, just go fuck. I don't know. Fuck is quite generic, though. Which is, there's so many words that I have like power. Like, oh, I don't know. Like, oh, that's a good question. Because, like, <laughs> fuck has like a lot of like. Mm, from like a lot of Power. yeah it's like when you say fuck it feels good like, I, I say fuck a lot as well I say shit uh, I feel like a, a really good curse word well like, not even a curse word really oh no I feel like pee I feel like piss has way more power than pee than pee piss <laughs> has more power you're probably making much yeah, I am I am I am, I am which is the, yeah the answer yeah fuck fuck is a nice word fuck Fuck, fuck is good fuck yeah. and shit fuck many no, fuck like, that's all the questions I have here yeah thank you right oh Oh, I, I'm a retard. I turned off the camera when those things. Yeah, but just that that's that's gonna be the only cut. It wouldn't be turned out time for them to make a mistake. So any music coming up? Oh, I wrote a song actually and I tried oh. to record it. I wrote a song actually and I tried to record it because I was procrastinating homework and I named it like uh, I should be I, sh I should be doing my homework. I tried to record it but just like it wasn't going well. But I have it all written down and I might drop that. Mm. So yeah. This is gonna be on my birthday. Spam happy birthday in the comments. Happy birthday, bro. <laughs> so happy oh, birthday in the comments. Whoever gave you that. Thank you, watching. random guy. That definitely is in Cal. I appreciate <laughs> that. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I, I might do this every year because I think this is cool. But the quality should be better every year as well. I'm literally, this is literally on top of a chair. And he's literally sat there. So like, I don't know if this is gonna be entertaining or not. Cause like, this is just no editing. I don't plan to edit this and go crazy with it. Just sync up the audio, sync up that other clip. Cause I have to cut it. Cause there's a timer there. That's like 20 minutes. So I can't record longer than 20 minutes. Okay, we're done. <laughs> that's the interview done. My happy is done. Thanks for watching the videos. 100,000 views, insane. It's just, thank you. That's it. That's done. I don't mind that.